What's going on, y'all? We back with another one. We got McKinley Jackson, uh, defensive tackle out of Texas A&M, uh, drafted to the Cincinnati Bengals in the third round. Pick 34, not too familiar with him. 6'1", 326 pounds. They got him listed as an average backup or special teamer. These are not always accurate. Take it with a grain of salt. 5'2", 6", so he's pretty slow. Um, he was projected to go in the sixth round, but he went in the third. So either the Bengals reached or he's just that good and uh, he was slept on. Um, let's see. Squatty interior defender who felt somewhat miscast as a zero technique nose over the center. Jackson is explosive off the snap with ability to get into blockers quickly or to attack their edges as a penetrator. He tends to ride on blocks once they land squarely and needs to develop his hands for better counters. As both a run defender and a rusher, he plays with good strength, but he's more gradual than twitchy in his battles. He might be more co consistently effective at a lighter weight and as a rotational nose and one gapping even front. So I guess that's why they drafted two, def do two defensive tackles because they probably have like uh, direct intentions with him. They probably expect him to be more of a situational DT. So that's that's I mean that's that's a uh, intentional and intelligent drafting uh, on the Bengals part. Um. Uh, Let's see. I, I like to just highlight the weaknesses because, you know, there's just sometimes they're just blatantly wrong. And sometimes, you know, just good to for for education about the player. Um, Had trouble standing firm and winning battles against Alabama's O-line. Doesn't have the hand usage or length for quick block scars. Low average success rate as a gap eater in the middle. Unusually low tackle for lost numbers for a player with one gap ability. Doesn't have to go to counters. To locate a secondary rush when he stalls. Okay. So we got some interesting stuff on. Okay. More of a one 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 dimensional type player, apparently. But uh I'm gonna check him out. Zabos, yes sir. I reacted to all the picks. That's uh it should be uploading to YouTube right now. Let's see what it, oh shout out to Simply for the highlight bit. Definitely uh Where is he at? Okay, I see him. I see him. Okay. He's looking for him. Okay, number three, I see him. I see him. Okay. He got in there kind of quick. I get that to him. Five minutes now remaining. Tennessee with the ball back. Milton under pressure. The rush. Straight power right there. Nice spin move on the play. He spins Oh, okay. I was looking at the wrong person there. Comes in. What a save some time for his offense, but of course, his quarterback's in the locker room. You name them, they got them at Texas A&M. A bunch of five stars, guys pushing the pocket, and actually out at ten after that fourteen-yard pickup. Come on, watch so far. It's the first one tonight. Bounces off one defender, can't bounce off the second defender, and he's probably the best pass rusher. The protection really was there. They, they whole unit low key getting back there. That was a good job right there. That was a good job right there. Included big help from their All-American running back Bubba B. Oh. Free rush. Now the eye formation. Shanker in a fullback. He'll be the lead blocker. And Bigsby gets swallowed up after. Easy money. Okay. Oh, good push. Good push. Good push. That was nice. How difficult that can be if you're the on the other run broke wide open. See a lot of names for LSU in the backfield. They've already had four different ball carriers. Double team right there. Is that him? No, that wasn't him. Okay. Is four. Johnson escapes it. It's the sack. Get past the line. Gibbs behind him, and Gibbs gets the handle. They bottle him up. Not, not, not. You know, super athletic or extremely fast for his size. Uh, but I mean, he seems strong. He moves well for his size. So I mean, like I said, I can see the. Uh, I, I can see the intent there. He he has a little bit of both. He got a little bit of pass rush and run stop ability. So I mean, his um, he got, he got potential. That's for sure. He had an open receiver that time. He just didn't see Sanders. 
Ely tries to drive the legs, picks up a yard. Mike Sanders still I already reacted to Mike Sanders still. It's posted on the channel. Fires across the middle, but it was at the feet. 19 yard chunk. They hand it to him again. He turns the corner. Okay. That was, good. That, was, that was good. That was good. Okay. He seemed solid. Like I said, like, uh, you know, I see, the, I see the intention for why they drafted him. I can see it, you know, uh, more, you know, purposeful, intentional, you know, situational, rotational, you know what I mean? Um, we'll, 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 we'll have to see how, how it plays out. I don't I don't see him being like a day one starter or anything, but uh, we'll see how it plays out. Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.